Right now, doctors say we're starting to see the beginning of a winter COVID surge in Oklahoma. Infections are up, along with cases of the flu and RSV as well. And as News 4's Taylor Mitchell found out, we may be only at the tip of the iceberg. If you have symptoms, I would encourage you to go ahead and test, especially if you're going to see again an elderly family member. Hospitalizations related to COVID-19 ticking up in Oklahoma once again, increasing by 22 percent over the past couple of weeks. We all want to forget about it. The sad thing is it's still out there and we still need to protect ourselves. The latest variant said to be one of the most contagious so far. That's really helping to drive this winter COVID wave. According to the CDC, 88 people are hospitalized currently in the Oklahoma City Metro. Officials at OU Health say 10% of their patients have COVID. They're much higher than they were two weeks ago. So we're just in that takeoff phase. It's a little trickier because some people aren't really sick from it, they just happen to have it. At Mercy, there are nine, and at Integris, there are 45 hospitalized patients with COVID throughout the system. And it's not just COVID that's spreading. Doctors are also seeing more people with RSV and the flu. RSV is at the highest levels we've seen in about two years. Probably in the next few weeks that Oklahoma is gonna see a real uptick on flu cases. As for how to protect yourself and your family, Wearing a mask, getting tested, and keeping your distance. Also, maintaining that hand hygiene because we know that these illnesses are spread by respiratory droplets. In Oklahoma City, Taylor Mitchell, Oklahoma's News 4. Dr. Monks expects this COVID winter surge to hit its peak in late January, with hospitalizations peaking around early February. They also encourage getting updated on COVID, flu, and RSV vaccinations.